Diamonds, welcome back to the channel. Today we literally have such a massive unboxing from For Go By. Literally, I don't even know where to start. There are so many things in here. I know where I'm not going to start, which is the two diamond paintings they sent. So I'm not gonna start here because I wanna save these for last. But there are so many other things in here. There's like four or five other things in here. Here's the package, if you were wondering. But I think we can just start here. It is such a cute little strawberry. Oh my gosh, it's like bead art. So making this little strawberry out of little beads. So let's open this up. It seems so difficult, but I always love seeing things like that. I have never done art like this before. So I'm not exactly sure what this is for. I think it actually goes on the inside. I think it's like a little stuffed strawberry. So they provided some stuffing for it, which is great. And here's the inside it opened up like this. Came with our little strawberry prints here. Came with a little baggie full of everything else that we need. It came with a ton of little white beads for the seeds. A ton of super shiny green beads for the like strawberry stem. Um, and a whole bunch of red little beads. And these are so tiny. Oh my gosh. At the end, it's gonna be the best payoff. Just because, don't you just like love those little tiny beads? Um, it comes with the strawberry both sides, so the front and the back, or vice versa. I don't really know. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure it's similar to cross stitch because it came with clear lining and red and green string or yarn. And um, it also came with two needles. If you can see them, they're at the top here. Two needles and the, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a keychain top thing. Maybe I could just call it the key, it came with the keychain. Yeah, so that's our little strawberry. Their little first thing, their little strawberry. All right. I. Don't even know what I'm gonna pick next. I'm just gonna like blindly look. Blindly look, that doesn't make any sense. I'm going to blindly pick and this is next. So this wasn't letting me pick anything else because it was right on top of everything. But that's cute. So it's like embroidery of something. A 20.6 by 20.8 centimeter. That's very specific. Also a little box folded out and showed us this, which is a picture of what it's gonna look like at the end. Um, there are instructions on the back along with what colors you have with it, with DMC codes and everything. So it comes with 23 colors and these are our colors. Sorry, I just noticed, I was looking at this and there's so many different stitches you need to know how to do for this. Like it labels up here in red, it shows each different stitch that you have to use for this piece. So one stitch is like the French knot stitch or you need like a leaf stitch or the satin stitch or a daisy stitch. There's one called fancy free stitch. I'm gonna have to learn a lot about stitches, which I'm really excited to do, but I don't want to mess it up. Um, I just showed you the colors that it came with, but it would have been a lot easier if I just showed you this. Here are the 23 colors it comes with. <laughs> There's so many. They're not tangled. I don't know how it happens. They're never tangled for some, for some reason. Like they're touching, but they're not tangled. But yes, these are our colors. There's a lot that came with it. This is a lot of like yarn. This is going to be a big task there's two little needles it actually is kind of big it's not like huge but it, but it is kind of big look how big that is but yeah this is gonna be so pretty let me try to fold it back all nice they had it super nice oh and i'll put links to everything in the description there's a lot so you're gonna want to look there <laughs> now for our next thing again i'm going to blindly pick it out looking anywhere but where the package is and okay so i pulled out these little cute bears 
and i've never done a craft like this before either i think it's so cool how one website can have so many different things on it like that's insane they're a b drills they're a b's so if you don't know what a b stands for it's aurora borealis and they just they're drills that have a special coating on it to make them sparkle like so much better don't you see how they're like bouncing off all the light that touches it they're insane usually people go nuts over these drills me included um just because they're so gorgeous oh and looking at them the cuts are so nice these are really good drills guys it came with purple ab's as well and they're so pretty pink and purple ab's and what you have to do for this is put them on the bears I've never seen anything like this before. And the toolkit it comes with? Oh my gosh. It's pretty standard with a pink pen. It comes with baggies, a boat, and wax. But it also comes with like a little tiny like drill pusher, I guess. Like to place it exactly where you want it to go. I think this is glue. Let me open it up. Yeah, it's adhesive. It came with adhesive in this toolkit. Let me open up one of these bears too. They feel so cool. It's like the smoothest like plastic ever. And like the body parts move. Like you can move its, its head and its legs all move. Dude, these are gonna look amazing once they're done. I'm really excited to try to figure out these bears. So it came with two, one for the pink and one for the purple drills. Um, They are smooth. So that's exactly what the adhesive is for. So you're gonna have to put adhesive either on the bear or on the drills first, and then put the drills on the bear. Whichever way you wanna go about it, I'm sure it's fine. There are, or is one more thing in here. And then we have our diamond paintings. So this is another embroidery thing. And it actually came with, like, the frame. I don't know all of my embroidery or, like, cross-stitch terms yet. I'm still learning them. What would you call this? Is it a frame? You know, I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, so you're gonna put it inside of here and then be able to work on it. And you don't even know what it looks like yet. Um, it comes with only five colors. These are some cute colors. Come on. Well, I just love pink. But pinks and greens, and that's all it comes with. Pinks and greens. <laughs> um, it comes with like a wire frame, or I can't call everything a frame, but it comes with the a wire outside. I don't know. So it came with two needles, and it was in the bag with the metal wiring, and it also came with like a big thick pink tassel that has like cute little beads on top of it so it's super cute and it's really soft this is so soft look at that so this is what it's going to look like so it's a bookmark of this pink flower piece <laughs> i don't know how to explain it but that's literally what it is it's a pink flower piece it doesn't even look like it was like printed on here it looks like it was hand drawn but i'm sure it wasn't you know, like, like no way. I don't know if you can see it that well. So hopefully you can see that a little bit better, but it's on there. So yeah, I'll just stitch it right onto here. But now, since everything is out of the huge bag, that means we can move on to our two diamond paintings. So we got my scissors out. Oh, it's folded so tightly. Look how tiny it is interesting so it comes with a standard toolkit and i'll show you what it looks like and then we'll head to the floor with um this one and our next one but it came with a bunch of drills and i said interesting because this is what it looks like it looks so pretty but i feel like the colors are muted like at least a little bit it's gonna look a pretty different once it's finally completed sorry my computer just went off and i 
usually love that because I kind of like seeing the piece come to life with each drill I put down. So I think it's interesting that it's gonna become more and more like real, if that makes any sense, with each drill you place. And one thing I already see right off the bat is that there's a ton of glitter on this canvas. And we know I just love the glitter, but that's so awesome. This one looks nice. Like, I'll take it to the floor still, but it's real nice. I'm seriously always afraid that I'm gonna cut the, the piece as I'm cutting it open. Has anyone ever accidentally cut their diamond painting? Like, that would be terrifying. I've had some close calls. Yeah, same. It, there's so much glitter on this canvas. It's literally everywhere. I don't know if you can already see it. You can. You can see that. There's glitter everywhere. Yeah, same thing with the last one, this one. Uh, it comes with a standard toolkit. Comes with a ton of drills. And similar idea with, I feel like the colors are muted a little bit compared to what it's going to be at the end. You can generally see what it looks like right here. Isn't that pretty? It's just so like calming. I love this piece. So here are the drills that go with this diamond painting. They all look pretty good. It comes with 20 colors or sorry 19 i was looking at these a bit and i noticed a few hitchhikers such as like this one here it's square drill or this one this square over here and um, there's a, a few in the pink bag but hitchhikers aren't really like a big deal or anything just don't use them on your piece um one thing i didn't see was any like trash drills if that makes sense like those little bits of drills that you get every once in a while or even like, there's no really misshapen ones either. And look how many cuts these all have. So you can see them really well over here. They, these guys have tons of cuts. So the light's gonna reflect off of each one of these cuts. Yeah, these are our colors. Now taking a closer look at the diamond painting, um, I tried giving them some kind of flatten out and it flattened out pretty well. There's just a few little ridges from where it was folded. But other than that, it looks real nice. I, I really can't wait to see what it's gonna look like once the drills help make it come to life more. I feel like the canvas itself is a bit like desaturated, but I really love, you know, putting drills on a canvas like this and really watching it, you know, come to life. But here are the colors that it comes with. And there are no DMC codes listed on this one. So 19. And it doesn't have its size listed either, but I would guess 30 by 30 canvas size. Um, let's see how sticky it is. Yeah, it's pretty sticky. That'll definitely hold your drills down. That's for sure. And let's look at the drill field. Look at that. You can see the glitter and everything and everything is super clearly printed. And there are no guide circles at all, really. Yeah, there's no guide circles. So, like, it would be hard for probably a beginner to do, like, this color blocking area because there's no guides, just the letter. So, it's more of an advanced piece. But, yeah, I think it all looks really good. Definitely happy with this one. Here are the drills for this canvas. So this one is the one that came with 20 colors. So there's a ton here. Um, and taking a closer look at some of these guys, um, I'm expecting the same quality as the last one because they're from the same company. And I think that's what we're finding here because look at those little drills. They do have the tons of cuts. I mean, there's a bunch of cuts all over these guys. And there's no misshapen drills, no imperfections or anything. Those two might be sticking together, but I can't really tell. None of the other ones are, so I'm not really sure if that's what's happening there. But yeah, they're all looking real good. Ooh, I like this dark color. So those are our drills. And now looking at the canvas, it's of Alice, you know, sleeping with her cat. Um, over here, we can see that it comes with the 20 colors and there's no size listed or anything. But my guess for this one is a 30 by 40. 
and it's also that desaturated type of canvas which I, I really like. Let's look at the drill field here. Um, you can see that this canvas has some glitter on it as well. And the cat's a complicated area which is why I decided to zoom in all over here. But you can see that everything here is so clearly printed. I would say if anything the M's might be like a little blurry. Not really. Like I can tell that's an M. You know the ink didn't bleed or anything. Yeah, no guide circles either. It all looks real nice. I'm happy with this one too. That's a win. Woo! Unfortunately, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, today's shout out is going to Stacy Slack. Thank you so much for watching, and for everybody else, make sure you're subscribed for chance to be featured in next week's video. And I'll see you all next time.